Eduardo and Mary Angela Guterres and their four children, who were two, six, eight and 12 years old, have finally arrived in the United States. They're among the groups of people who've been sent up to the capital from Texas on buses. They've been in a shelter for 10 days and came back to Union Station to ask for help to buy food, clothes or to get a job. It took them two and a half months to cross multiple countries in South and Central America to get to the US border from Venezuela, risking it all for a new life. My country's in a really bad situation. You cannot eat. You can work and work and you only have enough to eat one day and starve the rest of the days. It's hard. They took another chance getting on a bus from the US border to Washington DC and arrived with nothing more than the hope of finding work. It took almost four days on the journey from Texas to here. It was hard because we travel without food. We only received help from the ladies in charge of the travelers that bought food for them, and they gave us a little for the children. It was hard because the children were hungry on the way here. Since April, officials in Texas and Arizona have sent more than 5,000 migrants to D.C. There's been no official coordination with the federal government. NGO and volunteers rushed to fill the gap, offering some of them food and onward transportation. For those who want to stay in D.C., there are only 50 beds for migrants in one shelter. They are very resilient. They're very resourceful. So, you know, we're sure that they're going to they're going to make their next steps. It's just trying to guide them, you know, give them the resources. According to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, at least 150,000 people tried to cross the U.S.-Mexico border in June alone, part of a surge in the number of people trying to cross since the pandemic. Border state officials want to see more federal action. Unfortunately, the politics of the day, you know, makes it very difficult where we're seeing this inflow of folks as enemies, you know, as a burden to the nation, but it's really not the case. All the studies prove that Immigration has always been a benefit to this country. It can't be just left to the four states that are at the border. You know, it can't be left to organizations that deal with immigrants. It's, if we are a country of immigrants, then we need to then kind of put, you know, our, our money where our mouth is. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser says the flow of migrants by bus to the capital has reached a tipping point, And there needs to be a more thorough response from the Biden administration. That is yet to come as more people continue to be bussed up to the capital with little assistance to make it from here. Caroline Malone, CGTN, Washington.